Hi everyone, I am going to try making a video to show you how to access the Capstone Interactive Library. Uh, this is a really great resource um, if you are running out of books at home or maybe you're just, if you're getting bored of the books that you have. So let me show you. I'm gonna just switch right over now so you can see what's going on on my computer screen. You should be able to see um, the Google search screen now. And up in, this, in the address bar, I'm gonna type in mycapstonelibrary.com. You could also type it down here in the search bar. So mycapstonelibrary.com. That's gonna bring you to the Capstone Interactive login page. And just click on this green login button in the upper right hand corner. Ignore these first three options. Go all the way down to the bottom where it says username and type in continue. And then for the password, type reading. Then click that green go button. That's going to bring you to a virtual bookshelf of um, all different kinds of ebooks. And if you look over here under the search bar, I'm not sure if you can see this, if it's too small or not, but it says that right now I'm looking at 3,877 books, which seems like an awful lot for me to just browse and find something I want to read. So I'm going to narrow it down a little bit. Over on the left, there are some filters. I'm going to click guided reading level. And it doesn't have every single level by itself, but it does have a range of levels. So I could pick levels J to N, so that would be J, K, L, M, N, right? Or I could go with O to Q, which would be O, P, Q. Now, that's pretty perfect for most of you, so I'm gonna click on that. And now it's narrowed down the books that I'm looking at. So now I'm only looking at 278 books, which is still an awful lot, but it's more manageable. I'm gonna, I can scroll down and see if I can find a book that I'm interested in. There's an awful lot of nonfiction, but if you look carefully, there's an awful lot of fiction in here as well. You just have to be on the lookout for it. For example, this book right here, Igor's Lab of Fear, this is a fiction book. This book, Blizzard, is also a fiction book. It's one that we have in our library at school. So once I find a book that I am interested in, I will click on it. Oh, hang on, look at this, a Jake Maddox book. I'm gonna click on that one for Henry. Jake Maddox, Caught Stealing. I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna give me a summary of the book. So like the back blurb, tell me what the book is about. If I click on the book information tab in the middle, it will tell me more about the level and who the author is and who the publisher is. So all kinds of details that you probably don't need. The tab I really like is this last one over here that says more titles from this series. So if I enjoy the book Caught Stealing, I can look here to find more books in the Jake Maddox sports series. This is a great way to find books that you enjoy without having to look through all 278 of them. If I decide I want to read this book, then I click up on the play book button. I like to choose read book page by page because that's when it looks like it's it's flipping the pages, um, more like a real book experience. I'm gonna click on that. And then there are some buttons at the bottom. So um, there's autoplay if you just wanna hit play and have the book kind of go on its own um, and read it to you. This button right here is to turn the audio on and off. So if you have it on, it will read the book to you. 
If you have that button off, then you're going to need to be the one reading the words. Um, then you could see the contents of the book at the bottom. You can click on this to see and click on table of contents and it will show you the chapters. And then I can click to go back to the beginning. Then from there, there's a glossary and then full screen option. When I read the book, I can just click on these arrows to turn the pages and read. When I'm done with the book, there's an X in the bottom left that I can use to go back to my bookshelf. Now, when it brings me back to the bookshelf, unfortunately, it brings me back to all 3,877 book results. So um, I think what you might wanna do is then just go back over to guided reading level, choose O to Q again, and start from there. So check it out. See if you can find some books that look good to you. And then head to Google Classroom and comment on the question that I posted with the title of one of those books that you think you might be interested in reading. This is a really great resource, so give it a try.